it is it is of course Chris Quanzana Christmas Miss Time here at Radio Dead yes. Air. Like to be all inclusive on there, get everyone wrapped up into one big bow so I don't get accused of missing everybody. Although I have pointed out that my Chris Quanzanicus dismiss does not include Festivus. That's true. But I kind of feel like we do the airing of the grievances every week. Yeah, we do. So we've got you cut. We, 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 we celebrate all year. Cover. Yeah, it's all all year long. We yeah, sort of, we sort of sub, we, we, we celebrate that one. <sighs> Let's see. My camera is slightly off. I'm such a fucking idiotic perfectionist when it comes to this shit. Okay, chew on your butt now. That's a very important thing to do now that Tommy's on the internet. <laughs> You've been laying here looking cute for an hour, but now you got to chew on your butt. Let, let go! <laughs> Why are you so mean? Gee, I wonder. I, me. I wonder. Look at the household she was brought up in. Oh, you're getting a little... And... There you go. You froze up for a second there. Oh, you, you just came, you fr like froze for a second. Now you're back. What is that supposed to mean, the household she was brought up in? <sighs> Dan's already laughing. Peggy lives in a very loving and nurturing environment. And she's turned into a little murder beast. She's an apex predator. Uh huh. Aren't you? <laughs> Aren't you a little apex predator? <laughs> Aren't you a little apex predator? Yes. <laughs> you are. Yes. Are you going to be mommy's uh. little murderer? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you stuck? You're stuck. Okay. Ah. Uh. So, shall we... She's my good baby. <laughs> so, shall we look at the plethora of holiday nonsense? Well, it's not all holidays. Do the nonsense. Because we're in the pre-holiday period. Next next week is when... When the true spirit yeah. of Christmas stupid will come. Yeah. You will be visited by three ghosts. The ghost of Christmas stupid. The ghost of Christmas. The ghost stupid. of Christmas horny. And the ghost of Christmas asshole. <laughs> you can picture that last one for yourself. <laughs> Christmas horny is like a slutty Santa. <laughs> On that note, let's begin. Each week... Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And while it is, of, of course, not yet Christmas, that hasn't stopped some people from trying to ruin the holiday. Now, I'm going to preface our very first story with uh, a disclaimer for you parents out there. If you have small children in the room, number one, why? Why are you watching this with your children? And number two, this involves Santa, and you might want to put them aside until we finish this story, because otherwise this might cause issues. Um, I have no problem with the remember the reason for the season sort of folks. We used to have to wear those pins on our coats. All, we had a big banner in our front window. My friends all called my house the Jesus house because we had a big banner that hung in our front window that said Jesus is the reason for the season. We were those people. Yeah, well, you and your family did not make raging cock sores of yourselves. No, no, we just had a big old window banner and little pins on our coats. That was it. Pastor to kids, Santa does not exist. <gasps> no. Amarillo, Texas. A pastor takes to Facebook, spreading his message to all the good little boys and girls this Christmas. Santa's not real. 
David Grisham Jr. of Last Frontier Evangelism recorded a cell phone video at an Amarillo, Texas mall telling children in line to see Santa Claus. Oh my God. That the plump, jolly man in red is a figment of their imagination, as are his reindeer, elves, and workshop. Furthermore, he shouted to the line, the real meaning of Christmas is the birth of Jesus, and implored parents to stop lying to their children. Okay, here's the thing, though, bro. I was raised Catholic. I was raised hella fucking Catholic. Jesus is the reason for the season. We stole it from the fucking pagans. We did. It's solstice. It's Yule. It's Saturnalia. It's Jesus was probably born. I forget. The common consensus is either like April or September. Yes. He was not born in fucking December. Yes. We stole that motherfucker from the pagans to forcibly convert them. Also, does it snow in Jerusalem? Same shit with Easter. You want to know why we do bunnies and Easter eggs? Fertility. Yeah. Spring solstice. We stole all that all that shit from the pagans. So don't even. Also, and by the way, there actually is a Saint Nicholas. Yeah, he's that's kind of it's a Saint Nicholas. Yeah. They call they don't, I don't know if evangelists do the saints though. His his name isn't saint. That's a title. They gave him that. But I don't know if evangelists do the saint thing the way Catholics do. That's I'm not sure about that. Because evangelists in that type don't consider Catholics Christians. <laughs> they do some shit different than us. So I, I'm not sure on that one. And of course, parents, however, did not take too kindly to the pastor's claims that Santa's fake or his, or his sentiments toward them. I, I've got my kids over there. We don't need you coming over here blabbing whatever the hell you want, the father said. More fathers join in. Never to get the pastor to leave the area where their children are. How did are this alone. guy not get his ass kicked? It's, I'm surprised because that's Texas. Seriously. You run around in Texas and start screaming shit like that while kids are waiting to see Santa. Look, it's a celebration. Yeah. It's not. You know, this 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 thing where it but I am not religious. I am an atheist and I'm cool with Santa. I'm cool with the whole Christmas type of thing. I don't believe in any of the stuff that goes with it, but I am down with all the 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 traditions we have and whatnot. I was raised with them. And I mean you could argue that it has gotten way too commercialized. It has. Yeah. You go into any mall this week, like I was working in the mall tonight. That shit sucks. We have lost the whole spirit of giving thing like we've lost that it's madness okay well, if you, and i was raised catholic so i do you know see a religious sense in the holiday but i also understand that christians where that where we took it from if you want to talk about commercialization do you remember jim baker yeah jim and tammy faye baker do you know what jim baker's doing lately tammy faye yeah you know you know what jim's doing lately no, he's uh, he's 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 selling. And this is part of his ministry. He's selling these um, great big buckets of uh, emergency rations for when the world falls apart. He's selling these. He's he's yeah. He sells those. For Jesus. Yeah. Don't 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 tell me that Christmas is too commercialized. Jesus doesn't, when... Jesus doesn't want you to not have spaghettios just because it's the end times. Yeah. Don't don't tell me that 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 Christianity that that Christmas is is too commercialized when y'all don't take time out for the rest of the year. I'm just saying. Yeah. But it's it's Santa. Let the kids have Santa. For fuck's right. sake. They have their whole lives. To and be it's, disenchanted and disappointed and live shitty, unfulfilled, do, unhappy lives. And here's they have a, years for that. Just let them have Santa. And here's another thing. Do you really see Santa as edging out Jesus? Do you know anyone who grew up to worship Santa? <laughs> anyone who thought, fuck this movie? Jesus guy. I'm going to worship the fat man who gives me shit. Do you remember the old MTV commercial? about how Santa is secretly Satan because their names have the same letters and they both yes. were red. Yes. You never see them together. Yes. I'm just saying. No one no one ever grew up to worship Santa. It's not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no Church of Santa. No, although 
fuck they would have the best communion cookies and hot chocolate that would that be shit great. would be tight <sighs> anyway no one grew up to worship knock that shit off but yeah by the way santa was santa is based on saint nicholas so fuck you so he stole it all from the pagans anyway so double fuck you so we've it, it is the season uh not just for the holidays but also for fucking cold i i awfully cold up here i pointed out that i myself was iced in this weekend not snowed in iced in iced by, in is so much worse by a one it's not even pretty yeah it's a wonderful phenomena called freezing rain mm -hmm. where the entire world looks a bit like you know you remember han solo in carbonite that's the whole world yeah that's everything and there's this this shell it's like, like somebody covered the whole world in glass and you ain't going nowhere where nope. are you going nowhere, nowhere. <laughs> um so the weather is an issue. The weather is a concern. Obviously, first responders are concerned about people who are um, vulnerable at this time of year, the elderly, small children, people like that. So I don't blame the first responders for doing what they did in the next in our next story. But this, there was poor judgment involved here. That's all I'm saying. Um, woman believed to be frozen to death in car turns out to be CPR mannequin. Oh. Hudson, New York police officers attempt to rescue after a report of a person seen as unresponsive. Quick acting police officer broke a car window in an attempt to save the life of a woman believed to be frozen to death. But it turns out she was just a CPR mannequin. The woman was in the front, uh, front passenger seat with what appeared to be an oxygen mask. Now look at this mannequin. That's a really... That... Nice, like mannequin that is a not fucking around mannequin stop that stop that shush i mean that's that's a give you nightmares mannequin to be perfectly yeah. honest about it like i was a practice dummy for my friend in his emt training and the actual dummy didn't have a face or anything uh, what i was gonna say i saw them talking about this on cnn this morning uh -huh. and the woman was really pissed off that they broke her window. Yeah, we were getting to that. Passenger seat. We were getting to that. Right. To ride in the carpool lane. People do that all the time. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, apparently the, the car, the owner was, um, a sales manager for a company that makes medical training equipment. He told police he travels with the mannequin in the seat and therefore the seat belted in. It is, uh, Chief L. Edward Moore said, it is my understanding the owner was incredulous that we took action in this matter. He was apparently quite vocal and vulgar to my sergeant. Just to clear the record, all citizens of Hudson should be put on notice if you parked your locked vehicle on a street on a sub-zero night with a life-size realistic mannequin seated in it, we will break your window. Because you'd be pretty happy they did that if that was your mama. That's an oddly specific disclaimer to have to she issue to the public. Like. like, I don't remember them being so lifelike. Yeah, but yes, I, know. I, was the, I was the living dummy. They had to, they had to learn. Because they practice first on the dummy dummy. And then they practice on a person. So that they can get you on the backboard and stuff without actually harming a human. Uh. But they didn't look that real. Why does it have to look that real? You know, I just, the nerve of the per, okay, look, the nerve of the person to get pissed off that you put right. something, it's got liver spots for fuck's sake. They were trying to save somebody's life. And if that was your mom, you'd be pretty happy they did. Yelling at the, don't course, put if that it. was your mom and you locked her, left her locked in the car in sub-zero temperatures, you'd be an asshole anyway. Don't, don't put, don't put the, your, Why? I promise you it's because he could use so he could use the, the car carpool lane. Yeah, this New York has a lot of HOV lanes that you have to have two people in the car to use. And a lot of people do this shit in New York. I promise you that's why. Jesus Christ. Can you imagine driving by and looking out your, your window and seeing that? And just sitting in the front seat, locked in that silent screaming grimace. <laughs> yeah, that'd be creepy. <laughs> Oh, uh, all right. Well, quite often we have naked, stupid stories. And you know what? 
I've got to give the credit to the guy at our next story. He was wearing pants. He. Man, it's a sad day. When you got to say, I got to give him credit. He was wearing pants. He kind of, he was almost there. He was wearing pants. Was he wearing them on his head? On his arms. Oh, I was kidding. Dennis Carballo Rios, 28, faces charges of exposure of sexual organs, criminal mischief, and burglary. Um, he broke open a screen door, entered a front porch, and tried to get inside. He uh, tried to open the front door, struck a number of items. Uh, deputies arrested Carballo Rios as he was running down the street naked. Maybe you would have had an easier time opening those windows if you didn't have pants hanging off of your arms. 28-year-old Florida man was arrested after he tried to break into a home wearing nothing but his pants on his arms. Uh, he broke the screen door, entered the porch, tried to get in the house. As the, the noise started to startle the homeowners who called the police, deputies say Carvalho Cerrillos was arrested as he was running down the street naked. Now look, 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 look. I get, I get you. you if I was in that situation, desperately needing a pair of pants, I might break into someone's house. Might, might. But you already had the pants. You were right. just doing them wrong. Right. It's totally legal to walk around without a shirt on. You won't get arrested for not having your arms covered. No, that you, you, you were doing it wrong. You were doing every part of this wrong. Every part. And pants. That's not how they work. And to be running dead, you know what, just, you have to imagine the cops, even as they're chasing him, are going, he's got the fucking pants, why doesn't he put them on his pants, on, on, why would he put them on his legs, why is he wearing them on his arms, I don't know. Fuck up your ability to run. Because, <laughs> like, they're not going to fit across your shoulder, so you're going to be like, like, you got to be running really fucked up. Stand. And what's even worse about this story is the man's name, Dennis Carvalho Cerios. You got a name that cool. I know. What a waste. You got a, I am. I am Dennis Carvalho Cerios. You are getting laid any day of the week, my friend, with a name <laughs> that cool. Oh, hi, I'm Susan. Who are you? I am Dennis Carvalho Cerios. Maybe that's why he didn't have any pants. <laughs> he had the pants. He was just failing pants. I feel like no matter how cool your name is, you're not getting laid if you're running around with pants on your own. No, you're not. You have it. It's like the guy got a golden ticket. Yeah. It was his parents like, here you go, son. We're investing you with this fantastic name. Go forth and get your pants off your arms. What are you doing? And I mean, he's not bad looking. He, no, no, he's. I don't know about that chin strap beard he's rocking. That's kind of stupid, but you no, know, but that's he, changeable. I mean, my friend, my friend. Put your pants off your arms, put them on, and go talk to people. Because how that you learn pants, that's one of the first things you learn, is pants. You know? <laughs> that is one of the first things you learn in life, isn't it? Yes, you, you learn how to eat, you learn how to talk, you learn how to walk, you learn how to poop properly, and then you learn pants. On Yeah, like, you pretty much taught from birth that... The Barbie area is not for public consumption. Yeah, you look pants. Well, speaking of the Barbie area, we have this one comes from my home state of South Carolina. I was debating whether to put this one on uh, tech Q&A or here because there was sort of an intersection. Crossover. But this is definitely so stupid. It, it has to come here. Um, and I'm going to break down why this is stupid for folks at home. South Carolina will debate bill to block porn on new computers. How? Okay, let me summarize what the plan is. This is brought no, by... it's uh, too much. Let me sum up. <laughs> this was brought uh, by State Representative Bill Cumley. I mean Chumley. Um, Republican from Spartanburg. 
Um, what they're going to do is require uh, all computers sold in South Carolina to have a porn blocker put on them. And if you want it turned off and you're over 18, you have to pay an extra $20. Now, first of all, this software does not exist mm -mm. that could do this. Mm -mm. This is a complete fantasy mm -hmm. that number two. There's the internet. Hmm. Number two, if this software did exist, you could easily get rid of it by buying the new computer, not paying the $20, and then reinstalling your operating system. Yeah, you could bypass that in an afternoon. Number three, whose responsibility is this? Is this like Apple and Lenovo's responsibility? Yeah, because they're not going to do that. Yeah, to, to put it on specific computers that are being sent no. to South Carolina. Is it Best Buy's responsibility? To, is it Amazon when they or you send it to South Carolina? Oh no, put the no jerking off software on that one. They're in South Carolina. Is Amazon going to take the $20 and give also, it to South Carolina? How is a law like this even legal? It is a violation of the First Amendment. Yes. Right. Like this seems unconstitutional. It is. Because we cannot pass laws regarding what media people can make and or consume. Yes. That is. is not the society in which we live. Yes. It we is. can put limits on it. We can say that a child under 17 can't see a rated R movie, but we can't say you can't make a rated R movie. It's, it's this everything. Also, here. Yeah, this seems like an impossible thing to enforce. This is like just. The, the bare bones of this law itself, it's like if a chimpanzee was trying to figure out how to build an airplane, yeah, kind of. don't understand how technology works no, at all. Yeah, yeah, not at all. Like, you don't understand how impossible what you're asking is. <laughs> yeah, and, and also, how does the software define porn? Right. How does the software define what's allowed to be shown? It is, it's just, it. This is some high this, grade. Like, this is on the level of when a certain politician, who I will not name, so we don't go off on a tangent, said mm. that we should just take the internet away from ISIS. We should just shut the internet off there. Okay. That's not yeah. a thing. Also. That's, that's not a thing. To make this even worse, the bill is called the Human Trafficking Prevention Act. Does it do anything to actually prevent human trafficking? Well, ostensibly, the $20 will go to human trafficking. Why this is coming from... Is that stipulated in the bill? Yes. Okay. Why this is coming from porn, however, as if the, the presumption that all porn... Yeah, is no. human trafficking a great deal of prostitution yeah is born from human trafficking not as much porn because if your kid goes missing and shows up on porn hit porn hub someone's gonna find her and just putting aside any politics of this feasibly this is not how do you not know how computer work obviously they don't it's there's not a little man in the box who, like, gets the page from the Internet and reads it and decides oh, whether no. you can see it or not. These are the people that think those videos, like if Google was a person, are reality. No, that's not. But there's somebody in an office who has to tell you whether or not you can load that web page. Do they? That's not. That's that's not. No. Also, you're right. Like the companies, like companies aren't going to comply with this shit. Oh, Apple! I, I, I imagine not going to do this, and they don't fucking have to. I imagine this morning at Apple, people were banging furiously on Tim Cook's door because they looked at his window and saw him on the floor, and they were worried. They walked in; he was just sitting there rolling, laughing. Yeah. They were like, because the Jesus Christ. And you're like, you know what? Fine, we just won't sell Apple products in South Carolina. And, Do you know how easy it is to drive to Georgia? Well, or gosh, North that profit loss is going to be really hard, you guys. We're going to have to not fill the soda machines on Tuesday this week. <laughs> you know how easy it is to drive to North Carolina or Georgia? 
It's like that. It's not a big state. Yeah. It's not a big state. And the thing, they, they wouldn't even notice that fucking profit loss. Mm -mm. They're Apple. So I know times is hard. Times is hard for everybody right now. Every Everybody's feeling a pinch. It's, it's, not, it's not good money-wise. Money's not good. And we're all making cutbacks. We're all doing what we can to get by. Even criminals. Even, even, this is another Florida story. A lot of Florida this week. Florida gas station Rob suspect appeared to have drawn on beer. Oh, honey. <laughs> honey, no. The Pascal County Sheriff's Office is searching for a gas station robbery suspect who was caught on camera with what appears to be a drawn on beard as a disguise. Deputies. Like, you definitely own a scarf, you pirate. <laughs> He's wearing a bandana. He has a bandana on his head. You could have put that on your... Maybe his hair is a really distinctive color. So you know, I don't know, but like, maybe he's a really distinctive scar. There are things you can reach for before you reach for the Sharpie. Des deputies described the suspect as a heavyset white male in his 30s or 40s, wearing a red bandana, long dark hair up in the bandana, and a green military-style uh, pilot jumpsuit. The suspect was wearing clean gloves and left the scene in a tan or brown Toyota extended cab truck. Maybe this wasn't related to the robbery and he just can't grow a beard. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Rogaine ain't working. I put it all over my face. Shit ain't working. There are men who use makeup to fill in patchy beards. When I worked at Sephora, I did a lot of that. I just... It... Bliss your fucking heart, man. Yeah. Do you I think... Mean, they haven't caught him yet. So... <laughs> Apparently it was an effective disguise. <laughs> Do you remember when we were really little and they had those magnet toys? Yes! The fuzzy wuzzy. At, and you could like, it was like a pile of iron filings under a little plastic sheet. And you could use the little magnet to draw a beard on the guy. I saw one this year that was Elsa from Frozen and I kind of didn't get it. Because I'm like, are we supposed to put a beard on Elsa? <laughs> like, yay for not conforming to gender norms, I guess. But... <laughs> That's not really Disney's thing. Yeah. I just, it, this, that's what he looks like. He looks like the fuzz. I mean, bless your heart, man. You're trying, but you tried. You tried. I'm just saying they haven't caught they him. They haven't yet. caught him. <laughs> I think he gets the last laugh. Oh, our last one tonight. This is the one you're going to like. This is from California. San Bernardino. Okay, I want to stipulate that... Do you that... sing the Route 66 song every single time you say the name of that city? Because I do. No, I don't. Oh. Every single time I say or hear the name of that city, that's what I hear. <laughs> Tulsa, Austin, San Bernardino. So, I, I want to start this with the disclaimer that if you are in a situation in retail and there is a robber, your best option is to comply... And attempt to get out of harm's way. Do not cause a fight. That being said, these ladies are amazing. I, I have these. Oh, pretty much everybody on Twitter tweeted this at us. Employees scared off armed robber by throwing sex toys at him. <laughs> Two women working at a San Bernardino adult store reportedly fought off a robber ostensibly armed in a most resourceful fashion by using the store's uh, products to shoo him away. Wednesday evening, a man in a gray sweatshirt holding what appeared to be a gun walked into lotions and lace before the store was going to close for the night. According to, Le to L.A. East, the uh, would-be burglar demanded the cash in the, in the register, something that one employee identifying herself only as Amy would not oblige. Uh, with the gun, he walked in. I thought he was just being funny, trying to scare us. But then I saw the gun. I was like, really? I don't have time for this. After Amy began to yell at the robber, he grabbed her arm 
At which point the other employee started hurling adult toys at him. Wow. I guess if you work in a sex shop, you've seen some shit. Because I don't think I would just start telling off somebody in that situation. <laughs> and then to just assail him with a rain of dicks. We will blot out the sky with our dildos. Oh, man. I want to see that parody now. Have you have you ever been? I want to see. I want to see like a thousand. <laughs> just dicks. And just watching it rain dicks on the Spartans. We will fight in the shade. Uh, Your balls. <laughs> <laughs> I have you ever been with a guy? dated or been involved with a guy who's just been afraid of your toys like yeah. just been like ew icky i don't want to touch it it's 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 ew it's that's that's weird you know actually no really yeah i have had friends of the female persuasion who they, they've told me their 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 boyfriends were just like i don't want to know you have that they're just repulsed. If I look at even a fake dick. They're just repulsed by even a facsimile penis. So I, you know what? This is actually probably a good. Yeah, this was probably a great strategy because being pelted with dicks probably one made him feel inadequate because <laughs> you know was big. Yeah. And two made him feel insecure about his sexuality because a dick touched him. It's like. Yo, man, I got a gun. Don't mess with me. Oh, my God, it's a penis. Oh, oh don't touch me with the penis. <laughs> it's like I forget which which comedian I saw ages ago said you could rob a bank with a booger. You just just pick it. And the cops be like, why'd you let him do it? Man, he had a booger. Are you kidding me? So I'm, I, mean, I, I respect these chicks because I don't like I've been in retail a long time. I don't think I'd be telling off a guy with a gun. But I guess if you work in a sex shop, you've probably seen every fucking thing. Uh, and that, Literally every fucking thing. Yeah, I, I would. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Things that should not be things that should not be. Um. Not that I'm shaming. I'm just saying some things. What? Um, but still, <laughs> my God, that, that, that that's amazing. Kudos. You sh now again. I want to reiterate. Do not try this at home. It's it kind worked of too bad. They already gave out the Presidential Medal of Freedom this year. Because <laughs> these chicks earned it. <laughs> this is America. Uh, cocks and robbers. Okay. Maybe okay, that's how that's... we finally, maybe that's how I finally solve our gun problems. <laughs> the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun <laughs> is a good guy with a dildo. <laughs> maybe that's what we have to do. Oh. Everybody just start carrying giant rubber dicks with you. And if someone pulls a gun, throw them at them and we'll save America. It's, I swear to God, like a dildo. I know I shouldn't say that because I'm supposed to want to smash the patriarchy, but, you know. A dildo is like a, 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 a super masculine guy's kryptonite. They, they can't, they, they can't handle. They can't handle. It's just rubber, man. Yeah. It's, I don't know why, but they just so, I guess, I, I guess that's the first thing we learned this week. That the quickest way to, to deal with a complete dick is to hit him with a dick. I really think that might solve our gun problem in America. Everybody just start carrying dildos. And if a shooter comes into a place. Dicks away. Bring dicks on that motherfucker like it ain't no thing. Uh, we've learned that, look. Yeah, you you might if you are in a position where you have to draw the beard on your face to disguise yourself for a robbery, rethink the robbery. You're, this is not a good line of work for you, this for anyone, but specifically for you. I maintain that it apparently worked. 
Yeah, this is pretty much, this isn't like Poncho and Lefty. They didn't let him go for just so long, okay? They gonna find him. And he might still have that marker on his face, depending on what kind he uses. Exactly! Uh, We've learned that uh, people who make our laws do not understand how the world works. I feel like we knew that. Yeah, but like, at all. They don't understand. Okay. But you can, tr- I, I wonder if you can, tr- I, I still get, go back to the IT crowd where they, they told, the, the two IT guys told their boss, they brought out this little box with a red light on it and said, Jen, this is the internet. And they convinced her that the entire internet was that one little box. And that she could control it? Well, no, they gave it to her for, for uh, she was going to give a speech in front of the board. So they, they gave her the internet. You need to watch the IT crowd. It's amazing. It's a fantastic show. That's that's a good recommendation for everyone watching. You should watch the IT crowd. Um, we've learned it's possible to fail pants. <laughs> I, I didn't know, but it is it's possible. We get that one wrong. Who knew? We've learned if you have a hyper-realistic CPR mannequin in your car in sub-zero weather... Someone go try to save it, you idiot. Put it in the trunk. Yeah. How hard was that? Just put it in the trunk. No one's going to see it. No one's going to break your car. Don't yell at them for trying to do a good thing. Of course, you will look a little weird the next day taking an elderly woman out of your (laughs) car. I mean, either way. Morning, Joe. Either way, you're going to have some awkward conversations, but at least you won't have a broken window. Yeah. And finally, we've learned... Jesus does not negate Santa. God damn it. In this horrible, fucked up, disturbing world of ours, let the kids have goddamn Santa. For fuck's sake. And if you can't do that, let people raise their own damn children. Did it ain't you? None of your business how any of them are raising their children. If, if a person is not the result of your genitals, Stay the fuck out of it. Like, that's what kills me about these fucking hyper-religious freaks, because they kind of miss out on the really big shit Jesus was into, like, judge not lest he be judged. Mm. Don't point out the splinter in your neighbor's eye when you have a plank in yours. Don't throw stones if you're in a glass house. Like, stay out of other people's shit, because y'all ain't perfect. Live and let live. Like... If they're going to hell, that's their business. That's between them and their creator. It, th- that's, not, that's not you. And if you can't live or let live, at least shut the fuck up. 